In this video, we'll see how to connect Power BI Desktop to OBIEE reports using Direct Query. BI Connector provides two different approaches for connecting Power BI to OBIEE, Direct Query and Import. If your OBIEE report queries are performing slowly, and you are looking to use Power BI's in-memory database for faster visualization, then you should use the Import option. Please refer to our tutorial on that option. But if your OBIEE report queries are reasonably fast, and you're looking to avoid importing a large volume of OBIE data into Power BI, you can use the Direct Query option. To get started, you need to have BI Connector Desktop installed on your PC. If you haven't installed BI Connector yet, please go to biconnector.com, download BI Connector Desktop Edition, and install it on your PC. You also need to have created an ODBC DSN for OBIEE reports. Please refer to our tutorials on configuring ODBC DSN. I've launched Power BI Desktop and I'll click Get Data. I'll find BI Connector on this list and click Connect. If you've upgraded BI Connector from a previous version, you may see a message about BI Connector not being certified. Click OK to adjust security settings. BI Connector has already been certified by Microsoft and is already added to the list of certified connectors. But in the meantime, here's how to fix this. Go to File, Options and Settings, Options. Under Global, click Security and choose to allow any extensions to load without warning. Then click OK and connect to BI Connector again. Now I'll enter the name of the DSN for OBIEE reports I set up in my ODBC Data Source Administrator. And I'll click the Direct Query radio button. At this point, if you see a message about not connecting because there is no corresponding ODBC driver, this means that you haven't yet installed BI Connector Desktop Edition. Again, you can get this software at biconnector.com. After installing BI Connector, create the ODBC DSN for OBIE reports, then try again to connect to the DSN from Power BI. The next step is to enter my OBIEE username and password, then click Connect. Now in the navigator, I'll expand my list of reports and find the European Orders report. I can highlight any report to preview it on the right. Then I'll click to select the report, then click Load. Now the report appears as a table in the Fields panel on the right. Since I'm using Direct Query, only the report fields are loaded, but the data is not loaded yet. The next step is to add filters to help reduce the volume of data queried in OBIEE. Say I want to view the orders from Germany in April 1997. I'll start by dragging and dropping the country field into the filters, and I'll choose Germany from the list of values. Next, I want to filter by month, which are listed in the Kahnman field. I'll drag and drop this field into the report filter area as well, and choose April 1997. Now I can drag columns out from fields to visualize the data. I'll start with category name, then I'll add contact name, quantity, and sales revenue. If I add the country and month fields as well, I can see that those filters have been applied correctly so I can uncheck them in the fields list to remove. The default visualization is this table, but I can use these options to switch to other visualizations, such as stacked bar chart or tree map. There are many more visualizations I could create, or I could combine this OBIEE data with other data sets.